what, what was the key for you guys after the third period to kind of uh, refocus on, on your type of hockey? And obviously, you guys played better than this in the first and second overtime. Yeah, I think uh, we just kept our, our play simple, and that was huge for us. Uh, I think we had five shots in the, one, the third period, I think, something like that. Um, but uh, our game just really changed. I thought we played really simple, just getting pucks deep. Uh, back checking, that made the difference. You guys awesome. scored that early. Uh, is there ever a thought that, oh, it's going to be another eight minutes before we get another goal? <laughs> no, I, uh, you're never hoping that, that's for sure. Um, but sometimes you have to play in games like that, um, and you got to be ready to play defense, and I thought we were up to the test tonight. How thrilling is, is a victory like that uh, after, you know, sweating for, like you said, 80 minutes to all of a sudden have it just end like that? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously it's a huge win, but... Uh, we're not we're not at the end yet. Um, it's a three game series, so you have to enjoy it while you can. But we got to get back to work tomorrow. What was the mood like on the ice? What prevented you guys from, from panicking? I mean, you guys haven't been in elimination games since '89. I mean, if that was going to happen, yes. Um, I mean, a lot of us well, not all, a lot of us, but some of us played in that Miami game uh, a couple years ago when we went to two overtimes as well, um, and definitely had a sour taste in our mouth after that one. Um, so you know, we talked in the locker room. Uh, you know, we're here. We might as well do it. So. Um, we were right there, and, and we just kept pushing. Did this feel like the Miami game in Fort Wayne in a lot of ways? I mean, a little bit high intensity, uh, two good teams going at it. Um, but, you know, it's it's not the NCAAs yet. Um, but it's still a huge game, and we needed that win. How big a factor did fatigue play in? And do you feel like you got an advantage at all from having the bye week? Um, I mean, yeah, we were all a little tired, and I'm sure they were even more tired after playing last weekend. Um, but I thought we were a little rusty in the first period, so I think it evened out. Types of saves Summer Hayes is making throughout the game. Um, is there ever a point where you seem frustrated on the ice? Or yeah, I mean, I, it's uh, frustrating when you're not scoring on good chances. Um, but, I mean, Sean made huge saves, saves for us that kept us in the game. Um, you know, I he, he kind of stole that game, I would say, for us. Uh, he played he played outstanding. Um, and, yeah, we got one in overtime. But he made some huge saves throughout the game uh, to keep it 1-1. Does having Sean having that confidence you have in him change the way you guys play at all? Um... I don't think it changes the way we play, but it gives us an extra boost of confidence, that's for sure. Um, when you see a goalie, uh, you know, who's 5'7 or 5'6 or whatever he is, come in and play like that, uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable for your team. You just get a lift. That's, it's, uh, you can't really describe it. What do you guys have to do to, to get enough shots for the next, you know, 20 hours to get in the race? Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just got to do whatever you can. I mean, I don't know that there's a special formula to it. Uh, they have to do the same thing. So um, they have to play in the same game tomorrow that we do. And uh, we just got to come out and play our game again. How important do you think closing out tomorrow is? Uh, it's huge. I mean, that's that's what we're here for. We're not here to play a game three. Um, obviously, we want to win this game uh, tomorrow. and uh, And that's the goal right now.